On this episode of Hauled, we're checking out 10 new Nintendo Switch Lite accessories from some of the biggest brands on the market. Welcome to A Game From A Box, this is Sergio AM, and just so you know, we've branded, we've titled this series as Hauled. Took little to no thought, but it works. Anyways, so you got a Switch Lite, but now you want to deck it out, spruce it up, throw on those rhinestones, not really, but you get what I mean. Let's take a look at 10 new Nintendo Switch Lite accessories. Here we go. Right out the gate, Hori's already released four new accessories for the Switch Lite. First is their Slim Tough Pouch. It's available in blue, but we went with black because we like how discreet it looks. So it's a clean and simple hard shell case with a nice kind of linear texture to it. Inside, we have an awesome yellow interior that really pops, and at the top, we have a mesh net for accessories. Below that, a screen protecting flap with 10 elastic game sleeves. So the Switch Lite drops right in and fits perfectly. Overall, a nice discreet case that's very secure. Next is the DuraFlexi Protector. It's a clear case, but unlike a crystal case, this one is very flexible, which helps absorb impacts. Now installing it is sort of a pain. It's best to start from the bottom and then slowly insert the triggers and shoulder buttons. But at least it's easy to remove. Once it's on, it looks really nice and even adds this shine to the entire console. But most importantly, cutouts are just about perfect and everything you need is easily accessible. And you'll be glad to know that yes, it is compatible with the Tough Pouch. Moving on, this is their very rugged hybrid system armor. It pops right on without a problem. And as you can see, it's got a very rugged look with all types of different textures throughout, along with a curved grip on the back. It's very thick to protect it from bumps and drops, but every port is still accessible along with the easy to use extruded power and volume buttons. Then over on the back, we have a clear plastic to show off that logo. So does it fit the tough pouch? Well, technically it does, but it's sort of a tight fit. Finally, we have their dual USB play stand. Very similar to the previous one for the OG Switch, but like the Lite, it's tinier and more compact. So this actually adds a mode to the Switch Lite, which is tabletop mode. On the front, we have a USB-C charging port. To the right, we have a USB and an AC adapter port along with another USB port on the left. Then on the back, we have a simple kickstand that opens to one angle. So the Switch Lite pops right in, and then you have two USB ports to plug whatever you'd like to it, be it wired controllers, fight sticks, adapters, etc. But although it's smaller, the extruded USB-C port on the front makes it a bit too thick to fit in smaller cases. Next up, we have the very unique Slip Case by Waterfield, which, like their previous Switch cases, was designed with input by the community. Similar to the Switch Pouch, this is a clean and simple case to carry the Switch Lite and a few essentials. First thing that stands out is this very thick, kind of cross-stitched exterior made with water-resistant Luna textiles. This is the very vibrant cobalt blue, which really pops, but it's also available in red and gray, along with wax canvas and ballistic nylon. At the bottom, we have a full grain leather grip. Then on the right, there's a small loop for something like a carabiner or wrist strap to help carry it. Next, it has a full length magnetic closure that has just the right amount of strength to it. Waka, 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 waka. Then, throughout the inside, we have a soft padded plush liner and two pockets on both sides, which are about the size of the screen, which gives the analog sticks room to breathe. As for capacity, you have enough room for small accessories like earbuds, a game case, a small stylus, things like that, and then the Switch Lite gets sandwiched right in between. Very simple with a unique and fun design. Perfect to toss in a bag and go. Oh, and for those wondering, they're also resizing the city slicker and pouch for the Switch Lite, so keep an eye out for those. Next on the list is PDP Gaming. They've decided to approach the Switch Lite with dual compatibility, which means these cases work for both the original Switch and the newer Switch Lite. Perfect for those who own both. Starting with the smaller deluxe travel case, it's a hard shell case with a nice heathered texture to it, and this being the Pokemon version, we have a Pikachu accent strip on the side. 
Then on the corner here, we have this rubber snap-in handle to both carry it and attach it to other bags. Inside, we have a mesh accessory compartment at the top and a very wide protective divider with a massive 14 game card capacity, and it can also hold two Joy-Con straps on the left. On the other side, we have this very soft pouch to protect the screen that also gives the analog sticks room to breathe. Now, on the last compartment, we have a nice strap to easily remove the console, and in here we have a molded insert for the Switch Lite. It's nice and rigid. I'm sure you can even use this with other cases as well. And if you want to use this for the original Switch, you just remove the insert. But for those wondering, no, you cannot fit both the original Switch and Switch Lite in this case. Next is their larger commuter case, which is a different take on those large hard shell travel cases. It's made of a semi-hard shell with the same look as the deluxe version. At the top, we have a really nice handle with rubber grip, and on the front, we have a thin zippered compartment for smaller accessories. Now in here, we have a lot. On this side, we have a thick cushioned flap with four game card slots and a tiny mesh compartment. It's held down with a Velcro strap, and underneath is where the switch or switch light goes. That adjustable strap makes it so both, regardless of size, will fit, but just make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want it wiggling around. Above that, we have two straps for Joy-Cons or possibly some cables. Now, on the other side, there's a pouch to store the AC adapter, cables, and Joy-Con straps. And then to the right, we have nine more game card slots, and this strap is to hold a Pro Controller, but yes, you can also use third-party ones as well. Then there's TomTalk with their familiar slim case, which has been resized for the Switch Lite. This is their gray version that's wrapped in this heathered or interwoven material. On the front, we have the extruded controls of the console, which helps it keep to that thin size. And at the top, we have a long wrist strap to carry it. Then to get inside, we have smooth opening YKK zippers. In here, it's as simple as it gets. We have a soft lined protective screen flap with eight game card sleeves and the slot for the Switch Lite below. No room for accessories because this is for those of you who want the thinnest yet most protective case on the market. Now, as a quick heads up, we were gonna bring up their grip case cover kit, but apparently they're changing the material on it. So we'll check back on this one later. Finally, there's Orsley. Starting off with screen protectors. This is their lifetime pack that comes with four tempered glass screen protectors for only eight bucks, while most others come with less and cost more. We made an entire video on these showing you how to best install them, so click the info card above to check that out. And then we have their carrying case. For those who don't know, Orsley makes one of the most popular Nintendo Switch carrying cases on the market, so this is a shrunk down version of it that's available in every color that the Switch Lite comes in. The exterior is nice and clean with a hard kind of bouncy shell that should protect it from drops. Moving in, we have a dual layer mesh compartment with room in the back for larger accessories and a zippered compartment for smaller things like games or micro SD cards. Below that, we have a soft lined flap with eight mesh game slots so they're easy to pick out. Very handy. Now underneath, we have our Switch Lite compartment with two elastic bands to keep it in place, and there's also a tiny compartment for something like earbuds. Overall, it's very protective for things like bumps or drops with enough room inside to carry the essentials and more. Now, the reason we're ending with Orsley is because they were awesome enough to send us a boatload, well, not a boat, I guess a box load of both their screen protectors and carrying cases. So thanks to them, we're giving away five of each. If you want a chance at one, subscribe and like this video to both support what we're doing here and help us on the road to 100K. We're so close. Next, comment below telling us what color you got the Switch Lite in and use the hashtag Charizard. That's right. Then in two weeks, we'll announce the winners on both Twitter and Instagram stories. So make sure to follow us on there. All right, so that wraps it up. We actually had to cut this video in half because it was way too long, which means get ready for another part coming very soon, along with another video for the original Nintendo Switch. That aside, if you want to support what we're doing here and you're looking to pick up anything featured in this video, check out the affiliate links down in the description below. Once again, this is Sergio AM, and I'll see you for the next box.
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out, so please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.